Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the featherweight division between and introducing firstly fighting out of the blue corner coming to you by way of Glasgow Thai Boxing Tim McCart and standing across the ring his opponent he comes to you by way of Petroy Northampton Macaulay Coyle. Five two minute rounds. Nice. Yeah, ready to go here as the referee brings the fighters to the middle for their instructions. And Kieran, the first bout of the evening, as we mentioned, under full tie rules. So give us a, an insight as to the difference between the classes we've seen so far and the full tie rules. What sort of restrictions are lifted on these boys? Well, of course, now we, we've got the elbows being thrown. It can make a hell of a lot of difference. A game changer. It can be a game changer completely. Um, you know, two young lads, 57 Seven kilos. Seven. You know, we're going to pass her over to Daz Morris. Round Daz, you know, one. two great talents. Yeah, cheers, Kieran. Um, Macaulay Coyle and Tam McCock, absolute quality, quality young fighters in the UK, really making the mark at the moment. A change of uh, change of contest, change of co-commentators for a couple of fights. How are you doing, Chris? I'm very well, Daz. How was uh, how's the evening going for you so far? Because of course, not only are you cornering some of the fighters tonight, you're uh, co-promoting the event, so a lot of work for you this evening. Uh, yeah, but it's going really well. It's uh, it's a great atmosphere and it's really busy now. Um, and like I say, we've moved up to, to, to the uh, full, full tie rules, the more professional fights. Um, so we're looking at eight points of contact, are we? Yeah, we are. Uh, obviously, the elbows come into play this round. Um, some, sometimes when they, they go full tie rules, it slows the action down loads. Um, but not, not with these two, because they're so light. I expect fireworks from the off. And Tam, of course, dumped Corley Coil to the canvas there and uh, he looks flashy and he looks confident early on yeah I mean they both fought in Thailand um, Macaulay was trained by uh, Liam Robinson that was probably one of the best coaches this country's seen uh, in, in recent times um, I mean they're both very well schooled well rounded lads and um, you know this really will be who wants it most fight already just see the technical levels going up a notch once they're in the clinch yeah definitely it's, I mean it's true testament to proper Muay Thai fighting I mean Tam's very very sharp here you know he's coming forward he's trying to push McCauley back he's got him like say he dumped him onto the canvas and he's scoring well with that body kick he's just scoring on the counter isn't he on the back foot but kind of on his terms really he looks relaxed and He's taking a shot there again, just the showboating. Yeah, sh showboating's okay, but... Um, it's not winning your points, is it? No, I mean, showboating's great but when you're well ahead, but it's only r r round one. I mean, great respect from both boxers as well. Yeah, the noise level just uh, turning up a notch as the bums on seats increase. An interesting first round between these two young men. Tamar Court receiving his instructions in the corner and as we were speaking in the, about the you were cornering previously what are the benefits of having your guys standing up in the corner rather than sitting down because it seems that some some corners up for one some up for another it might seem like a minor detail but what, what's your take on that I, I try never to sit one of my fighters down I only sit them down if they've, if they've had you know a lot of punishment to the leg it's very difficult I find to get your legs going again once you've been sat down you're restricting the blood flow by bending the knees and you know my own personal opinion on it is keep them stood um, I do it with my Muay Thai fighters and I do it with the lads who work within the UFC try and keep them stood up unless they've took heavy sh heavy shots in the seconds previous out. round and you need to sit them down to clear the head round two so second of five rounds Tam McCourt in the blue corner and uh, McCauley Coyle in the red with the orange gloves yeah Tam's very sharp with that teep great already, balance from McCauley and you can see the, the effect those kicks have had the reddening the chest of Macaulay Coyle already. Yeah, I mean, they, 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 they might only be like these boys, but they can hit really, really hard. That was a great counter left kick then from 
and McCauley. Nice counter, straight right hand from McCourt. And now lovely. they go into the clinch. Yeah, lovely scoring knee then. And that was a good yeah, it scores. swept the foot underneath from underneath him. Scores massively. So you know putting putting your opponent on the floor like that is a massive loss of position. And scores really highly. That was right underneath the chin, that Chris. Now Coy looking to drive the knees in. Yeah, Tam's dangerous also with that right hand. Uh, when McCauley launches in, he's letting that right hand go and it's going straight down. This is good work from McCauley Coyle in the clinch. Digging those knees in, keeping his man pressured into the corner, not letting him have any breathing space. Now the referee comes in and separates them. You can see Tam, he's there, he's waiting, he's waiting for that timed shot. Oh, super timing. Yeah, timing's impeccable. McCauley needs to stand a bit closer for me. He needs to close him down, take away his range. Well, he's a marginally smaller man, isn't he, uh, McCauley Carl? Looks a little bit shorter limbed as well. Yeah, I mean, for that very reason, he needs to be closer to him. Mm. But it takes away the impact of the, of the longer fighter's range. Yeah, again, just see Tam McCourt lining up that counter right hand as Coyle steps in. A another great round there, Chris. But, uh, I certainly edged that towards Tam McCourt. The loss of position. I mean, he, I don't think he's hurting McCauley particularly. But knocking him on the floor, he's, he's throwing the round kick, knowing McCauley's going to come in to try and clinch or, or strike back, and he's timing that side kick perfectly. I mean, twice he caught him with it, and twice when he's off balance, he's, he put him to the floor. What sort of advice would you be giving the respective men at this stage? You mentioned distance being an issue with McCauley Coyle. Is that something you'd be telling him at this point, trying to get a little bit closer to him, man? I mean, McCauley Coyle's corner is impeccable. Um, you've got Scott Robinson in there, the brother of Liam Robinson. Uh, he was the, 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 the man who set that gym up. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Um, but like Scott's an impeccable coach himself. You know, he, be, he will be telling McCauley the right seconds. things. My only thing for myself would I be telling him to pressure him a little bit to close the distance and then he can strike Second and take, take the impact of what Round Tam's got away by getting a little closer to it. Well, perhaps we'll see whether the information passed on to fighters in the corner does change the tactics. And again, straight right hand from Tam McCourt. It's got through once but twice and then he lands a couple of nice kicks to the body as well. Yeah, I mean, if you look at that, that, that straight hand, it's fully extended when it's landed. So it's, it's at its most powerful at that point. You know, McCauley needs to get a lot closer. Tam's playing a very clever game. He's moved him back. He knows exactly where he is. He's timed it well. I'm just checking those kicks as he comes in. Well, making himself a really awkward target to hit and then counters with a nice shot to the midsection of his own, then one to the head. Oh, that's clever work from Tam McCourt. Yeah, very clever. And the balance as well to catch the leg, move forward with the right hand at the same time, then a knee to the body. High catching stuff for the judges certainly makes that scoring easy. For me, Tam's just, uh, McCauley's just stood off Tam just ever too much. And then when he's pulling out, dropping his hands, with somebody as sharp and as accurate as Tam, you can't do that because that shin will find its place. When you mentioned in the last round that Tam McCall's not particularly hurt McCauley Call, but he must have some sting and some spite in those punches because there is something stopping McCauley Call from just pursuing relentlessly. You can see him there, wants to inch into the space, but then he's weary at the same time. So there must be some sting in the uh, in the shots of Tam McCall. Yeah, I mean, obviously his body's very red, and you know, he's, 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 especially around the back where where he's come off the ropes quite hard. He, he, he needs to pressurise Tam. I mean, we're going into the fourth round next, which is the money round. I'm great knee to the back there from McCauley. Tam there, not looking to clinch there. When he's pressured hard, he, he tries to negate the clinch at that point. Um, he's very clever. But that's whether, uh, whether you can say Tam's worried about McCauley in the clinch or whether he just can't be, you know, doesn't want to get involved into that um, clinch battle. So past the halfway mark and uh, the all-important fourth round coming up. Yeah, well, uh, 
I mean, we're moving into the money rounds now. McCauley really needs to do something this round and the next round uh, because Tam will start to run away with us shortly. The last round's a little bit, a little bit more even, but I'd still edge it towards Tam. I think Craig Flo in the corner there's happy with, with, with what his box is doing. He's giving him great advice. Now Tam, of course, record of eight wins and 11 wins and eight losses really do him all that much justice. He's fought names well above his level early on. Corners, is that a good thing necessarily stepping in with people above your sort of level it, it, at an early stage? If you can rise to the occasion, great. It, it either make a fight or break Something's a fight. Like and obviously that's down to psychological mindset. You know, being in with very experienced guys at early doors, um, it, it goes one or two ways. But uh, he's obviously done it the right way. He's been to Thailand. He's got a great camp, good training, and he's paying dividends. Great well, time tape then. He's certainly in control, and he's started the stronger of the two men, Tam McCourt. Corley Cole comes forward, but he's caught with a lovely hand combination, then a kick to yeah. the ribs. They, they came more off the gloves then, they didn't really land too well. He's struggling to clinch with a taller man though. Obviously Tam's got his legs up high, and McCauley can't find his way over them. If I was Scott Robinson now, I'd be telling him to push forward and, and stay on that left body kick. That was better work from Coyle. You say it's just patience from Tam McCourt, isn't it? Just not rushing in, taking his time. Oh, lovely. Oh, great score, massive loss of position off a flying knee. Really eye catching towards the judges as well. And the centre, McCourt a call from the centre to the ropes. Yeah. And he'll know that that could be the big blow that's the real turning point. Not that uh, McCourt needed one, but that could have sealed the deal. I don't know whether you noticed, but Tam McCourt seems to be, he, he, he is weary now. The power's gone out of his shots, and McCall is obviously having it a little bit his own way now. Uh, if I was Scott, I'd be telling McCauley to just absolutely pressure him now, as hard as I possibly could. Tam's going to want to negate that clinch, that's why he's wrapping him up so he can't work. And as you mentioned that, you can just see the animation in the corner of McCauley Coyle, and he's now taking that advice, and he's not going to let Tam McCourt off. Oh, that was a great knee. Great knee. Fox! Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd have to give that round to McCauley, but it's not a big enough round yet to overturn what um, Tam's done early. McCauley now needs a, a big five, and he could make this fight. And of course, for those people watching at home, this is really as much about who finishes strongly as who starts well, isn't it? Of course it is. I mean, Muay Thai, is, he, the, 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 the element of scoring is about the stronger fighter at the end of the five rounds. And some people make it really hard to understand. It, it, it's fairly simple. Um, it is about the stronger fighter. As you saw at the end of that round there, Tam seemed to fade a little bit and McCauley had it all his own way. Um, Corner, 10 seconds. And, you know, will McCauley now, will Tam have anything left after Ladies 30 and gentlemen, seconds of the this round? This is the fifth and final round. McCauley need, need, needs a big five for me to win this fight, though. Well, perhaps great body kick. he senses that it's possible. He started oh. very strongly indeed. Lands another one just to the side of the hips there. Just for the first time, that relaxation in the body language of Tam McCourt has just disappeared and perhaps a sign that he doesn't feel quite as comfortable as he did in the earlier rounds. No, he, he, he's obviously fading a little bit. Uh, his balance isn't as good as it was in the early rounds. Um, and like I say, the, the whip in that right hand is certainly, certainly not as strong as it was early. McCourt. Then McCauley needs to pressure him though this round. He, he, he needs to apply pressure. Pick, pick the right shots, but apply pressure and come forward. Oh, that was left hook. Massive, it. massive left hook. Really good shot, and that's just back to Tam McCourt up, and he's looking to fight his way out of the corner. Yeah, he replied with a, a great right elbow, Tam McCourt. But he's visibly tired now, he's visibly tired. McCall is just, every time he gets a burst, 
Tam's doing his best to tie him up to stop that working. Well, Coyle's turned it into a real scrap. He just caught the front leg, landed an left hook as well. Yeah. And the tide really turned in the last two and a half minutes of this contest. Towards the end of the fourth and the fifth round, this is really Corley Coyle putting in a real shift. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's having a great round, McCauley now. He, he, he should have done this though from, from the second and the third. That scoring lovely. But he was struggling to. I mean, the distance seemed to be an issue, whereas now he's. No, well, obviously, like, like I said, Tam's not fade is probably the wrong word but he's, he's, he's clearly he's clearly tired and Port still on the back foot just misses that high kick both boxes are tired I mean you can see with the shots aren't landing cleanly well an intriguing one Taz what are your thoughts on that um, I would have given the, the last round to McCauley I just don't know if he's done enough to turn that turn the fight around so we will go to the scorecards. There's uh, Tam McCourt's corner, hold him aloft. We'll see if that's all posturing. Just a few moments time. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the scorecards. We have a majority decision. Your winner in the blue corner, Tam McCall. Yeah, majority decision there. And it was valiant. And for ladies and gentlemen, McCauley your runner-up, McCauley.